that breed. They're more rare than a giant panda. Hello equestrians and thanks for joining me in another episode of Discover the Horse. I am on a quest to ride every breed and today we're going to have some fun. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to Discover the Horse. We are entering the Lake District for the next portion of our adventure and this is proving to be a very, very beautiful area, which I've heard about the Lake District, but it's just very green and very picturesque, and the sun is shining. Our destination is a special place for equestrians, especially those that like to ride draft horses. I'm meeting up with the owner, Annie. She has several different draft breeds that are used for rides. They're just all beautiful characters. You have such a fun variety here. Yeah, you it's know? great, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. They're all purebred, so it's kind of nice just seeing them all develop and learn and grow. We've got every end of the spectrum. Today, it's time to meet one of the rarest draft breeds, the Suffolk Horse. It's, that's the Suffolks for me are a part of this big picture. I've always wanted to have a Suffolk mare to breed from. It was always a thing. I wanted, always wanted a Suffolk mare, but they're very, very hard to get hold of. Um, they're very expensive. They're very hard to get hold of. They're rare. They're a rare breed. They're more rare than a giant panda. So there's not a lot of Suffolks in this world. So I was looking for a mare and contacted the Suffolk Horse Society. They said, look on the website. There's a guy down in Cornwall. Um, who I believe might let a horse go. So anyway, he's been very kind and he sold me um, one of his geldings, but then since then he's been incredibly generous and decided that he likes me um, and trusts me, which is a huge honor to have his horses and breed from them. So that's what I've been doing. So he's been kind to let me have the mares um, and they had the foal last year and then they're in foal now, so two more. And who is this? I have this? to meet these guys. Oh, he will come and talk ah, to you. Ah, hello. This is my old dog. He's my best friend. And he's called Baggins. Baggins. And he's my babe. I have a border collie that's black and white border collie. They're the best They're dogs. Here it comes. Here comes Jealousy Girl. <laughs> Jessie. <laughs> Hi. They are such a We're good doing. breed. Doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's lovely. So I've got six Suffolks at the moment. Okay. And two more, hopefully, if all goes well, we'll have two more babies this year. Um, yeah, so it's all onwards and upwards for me. And the thing for me, it's not just about saying, here's a mare and I've bred from it, so I'm helping the breed. It's saying to people, come and ride one, because they shouldn't just be standing in a field. It's giving people the opportunity to ride one of these beautiful big horses because they're fantastic fun. They really These are. are. fourth gelding, um, fifth, sixth with, I've, I've had six geldings, Suffolk geldings over the years to ride. And they're just great fun. Yeah. They really are. They're quite, quite responsive and quite fun horses. Hello Nemo. The breed originated in England. They were bred for plowing, pulling loads, and farm work. <laughs> this is a breed that I have read about in books and I've never seen in person, so it's really neat to just see such a fun representative of the breed, especially because he's being used in such a cool way. Your mounting block is like already much like more draft size. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Good boy. All right. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Yep. The Suffolk Horse Society was founded in 1877. 
The breed is also known as the Suffolk Punch. Their average height is between 16 and 17 hands. As you can see, they have a very recognizable color. The only color in the breed is chestnut. It's spelled in a traditional way without the T in the middle. There are seven shades described in the breed standard. As with many draft breeds, their numbers dwindled as tractors took over their roles on the farm. In 1966, only nine foals were registered in the stud book. Luckily, people like Annie have continued to be ambassadors for the breed. Today, the numbers are going up, although they are still listed as critically endangered by the Rare Breeds Survival Trust. You can check out the Suffolk Horse Society Facebook page to celebrate each of the new arrivals. Good boy. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed discovering the Suffolk with me. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want your very own heavy horse riding experience, check out Cumbrian Heavy Horses here in England. Happy riding everyone. I'll see you at the next breed. Thank you for introducing me to your wonderful breed. His leg is, is almost my whole body. <laughs>